Okay, so now now that we have both sides of the vehicle set up, we're going to go ahead and rip this and get it ready for print. So the first step is we need to figure out which printer we're going to uh, throw it on. So we have our two HP Latex 560s, and we also have the two Epson Surecolor S50-670s. So with our Kim drives, we're going to go ahead and put it on the Epsons, and I'm going to choose Lexi. So I'm going to select the printer and I'm going to hit open. Now this will open up a little dialog box right here. And I'm just going to come back over here to our secure server. And under customer, we're going to go to Kim Dry. And we're going to go to Making County. So we look for the invoice number that we had and the vehicle type. So right here we have our GMC8. GMC Savannah. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, our print folder, and in here we have our driver and passenger side. So I'm going to go ahead and select these two, and I'm going to make sure that our quick set for the shirt color is set to default, the Lexi DP default profiles. And that's really important. Uh, we also have this checked, so this will bring it into our job editor, which is also included with our Thrive package. I'm going to go ahead and open, and this will take a few minutes to open, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is Thrive job editor, and right now in our preview window we have our passenger side. So we're going to go ahead and go through the steps into preparing this so that we can send it to the RIP queue and then eventually get it printed. So at our first tab, we have printer and media. This is where your printer and media group and resolution and pass mode will be displayed. So if we go down here, we have our sure color Lexi, our 3M media group, and our IJ180 CV310 which is basically the standard what we use at the company. Here is our resolution and pass mode which is the 720 by 1440 and it's running at a six pass on the sure colors. Under color management it is set to custom and that will stay that way. We have a spot color replacement table which needs to be checked on at all times and what are Basically, our spot color replacement table is we have pre-built spot colors for certain jobs. Uh, for example, Kim Dry has its own built-in backdoor spot colors that we have built. <clears throat> so in order for these colors to hit on our machine, we need to make sure that this is checked. So we will come down here. If we had a job that had cut path that needed to be sent to a plotter, we could select our graph tech cutters, but right now we'll just select this as none. If we come over to preview and size, we can see the size of the image. And if we needed to crop it, we could crop it. Uh, the orientation of the image. So if we were working with just a single panel and we needed to flip it, we could flip it 90 degrees or in a few minutes I'll show you that we will be flipping this every other panel 180 degrees and that should be good for tile and setup not much that we have to do on passenger sides but for driver sides I we will be taking a look at taking this smaller panel and reversing it and having it on the front of the vehicle on the other side so if with the tiling tabs selected, if we click on each tile, you'll see this number right here should stay the same until we get to the smaller panel. And we see that it is 16 inches. So we're, we're able to select different tiles by just clicking. Uh, we also have an overlap. So this is a, basically an overlap between the seams of the tile. And it is set to a half inch at the moment, which should be good. Sometimes you may select 0.75 if the installers request it. On our color correction tab, we have the ability to 
change colors on the fly. Maybe we want if we needed more magenta, we could up the magenta channel. But for the most part, we try to do that inside Photoshop or Illustrator. So you probably most likely won't need this. And our finishing tab, if we need to add grommets or crop marks we can do that in these tabs but most likely crop marks are usually the only thing we need alright so our last tab is print so we can change the job name if we need to and we can also change the copies but we can just leave this all default by now and after this we will take a look at the driver's side okay so now we have the driver side and we want to get this tile over to this side so what we need to do is we're gonna take this width value once we select that tile and we're gonna copy it we're gonna select this tile and we're gonna paste that value in so now we have that smaller tile on this side but we have created two tiles in the process. So in order to fix this, it's pretty simple. We'll just grab this seam and we'll drag it all the way to the right. So if we've done this correct, we should have three panels that are at 52 and then we have this last panel that is 15.9. And this is basically the process that we use for all driver sides. We wanna make sure that it's consistent with our passenger side tiles so that we have a smaller tile in the front of the passenger side and we need to have a smaller tile on the driver's side so I'm gonna go ahead and send this to print and we will take a look at the rip queue and what we are looking at so